everyone. Welcome to the world of EMI. I'm Reyes Cortez, the EMI department manager. Today we'll be discussing our reverb chamber. It is one of our 15 facilities we have in the EMI department. Uh, reverb chamber, as you can see the paddle behind me moving, it's much different than our semi and the courtrooms, which we'll have in another show. Uh, the reverb chamber is a standing cavity room or screen room. Basically is we do the high energy uh, testing in here. The standing waves that we produce are actually bounce off the walls instead of it being absorbed. That's why there's no anechoic material inside this chamber. So actually that's how we create the high energy levels in here. The problem with these rooms is the energy waves, they have this, when they hit the walls and they end up having similar amplitude, that's what we call standing waves. The problem with the standing wave is that all the, the energy of the test item is not always on the test item. You can't see what a standing wave is. So what, that's how we have the stir mode or the paddle. This actually, this paddle breaks up the energy waves. It breaks up the standing waves so the room, the reverb room no longer has standing waves. So now the different energy waves gets hit. The test item sees all the levels available that we put into it. So this is the basics of a reverb chamber. Any further questions, please contact us at Brown and we'll be happy to help you.